Do we already speak in everyday life as we do in internet forums? Do children first learn to swipe pages and not turn them? Do food couriers in the gig economy feel that they are part of a decentralized computer system? Do we see an Airbnb flat as a physical protrusion of a capitalist algorithm? Does an empty office building feel like a scene from a detailed animation computer game? Do we evaluate the color gradient of a sky according to the resolution of a graphics card measured in bits? Are we today trying to become more like our social media profile rather than creating an image of ourselves? Do we go offline because today's normal state is online? To put it more generally, do we see the analog world with digital eyes? And what role can art play in revealing and addressing these views? How have digital media and technologies become characterized such that we cannot help but reflect these aspects in art? These questions are also driving factors and points of examination in the digital arts and multimedia composition. The digital revolution is over. With these words, Nicholas Negroponte proclaimed an age in which the use of digital tools and representational forms is no longer the exception, but has become the rule. Today, our interactions, perspectives, and body images are significantly influenced by this reality. Even though technical fields continue to develop and a fascination for technology persists, the digitalization and virtualization of our living environment is, although not yet complete, so far advanced that it can be taken for granted. Digitality is no longer a sign of the future. It is slowly disappearing from our focus. It is its absence that continues to catch our attention. In this newly established constitution, our view of the analog, non-digital environment is also changing. This observation is reflected in the term post-digitalism. Post-digitality is to be understood here as a shift in awareness. This readjustment of a perception shaped by digital influences can also be understood as an artistic strategy, as a technique that actively addresses the interweaving of the analog and the digital. Art can offer to make these conditions palpable by positioning and contrasting perspectives next to each other. The post-digital perspective is based on an analog world which is completely permeated by digitality. The use of the prefix post before the term digital refers not to the end of digitality, but to the moment when the digitalization of culture is more or less established. Post initially describes not a state after digitalization, in which there is no longer any digitality, but rather its complete distribution. On the one hand, this term can now describe the extent to which our modes of seeing, interaction, communication, and reception have changed as a result of widespread digitalization. On the other hand, the shift describes a differentiated position towards digitality. With the social, economic, and governmental integration of all digital technologies, they have lost some of their original magic. In the post-digital viewpoint, digital technology is not seen as a pure tool, but as including its cultural implications. Parallel to social development in the age of digitalization, the use of electronic media in the arts, and also specifically in art music, has changed. In multimedia music, electronic content and processes are, by now, rarely an end unto themselves. Rather, they are used as representations, that is, exemplifying descriptively or symbolically. Comparable to the stagnation of material progress and instrumental composition, there has been a change in the way digital tools and content are used. Sound effects, projections, synthesis programs, and transformations are, for the most part, established techniques that are increasingly insufficient as the sole raison d'etre for a work. Then again, the creative field of research is all the more diverse, searching for forms of representation and interaction that discursively deal with our changed reality of life, and therefore with digital tools and representations. 
If one understands the post-digital shift as a change in the perception of digital content, or as a reorientation of position in relation to digitality, the question arises as to how art can, or should, behave respectively. I find this issue extremely prevalent in the context of multimedia composition. Due to the social connotation of digital media, I would even go so far in the sense of a post-digital imperative as to say that these connotations can no longer be blanked out. The implications of digital technologies have become an integral part of the digital itself. An artistic examination of this range of themes offers the chance to make these aspects sensually perceptible and directly tangible. Because the consequences of post-digitality have deeply influenced perception, experience, as well as physical interactions, it is obvious that these post-digital aspects should also be dealt with. The technique of perspective comparison can enable the possibility of comparing different modes of perception and interaction. In this way, opposing modes of presentation and communication are juxtaposed and thus made tangible, following the aim to bring into focus those consequences of digitalization which are invisible, unnoticed, or disregarded. As there is a noticeable disappearance of technology in the wake of post-digitality, art can offer space here, once again, to make the imminent characteristics of digital objects the center point of observation. <laughs>